Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Glitchy Skies. I have not done much since I last recorded. Did I have the extra... Yeah, I got extra rain barrels because I need more clay. Um, so in yesterday's episode, I made a crucible and figured out that that's not going to work for me because I couldn't produce fire. And right after I ended that episode, I did a little research and found that the crucible does work uh, in a very special way. And then instantly I figured out a way that I could have done it without that extra bit of information. But let's start with that extra bit of information. The extra bit of information is that the crucible can work. Whoop. There we go. Come on. There we go. Let's actually do this thing. Let's let's um do this up here for now. Oh, apparently not. Fine, fuck it. <laughs> Crucibles can work on top of torches. So you can see up at the top it says melting speed 1x now. So if I go get a whole bunch of cobblestone. Which I have a bit of. I have no idea how much cobblestone I need. About to find out. One, two, three, four, five. Apparently I need five. And it's doing a thing. And I think... Oh, I... S yeah, I don't fully understand what's going on. Okay, so it's got solid volume up at the top. Fluid lava in the middle there. Yeah, okay, um, that's going to take some time. If I need a 1,000 millibuckets and it's only at 50 millibuckets, that's going to take some time. But that's okay, because while that's doing that, I can get the other stuff that I need, and I primarily need a bucket. And you can't make a bucket out of iron, because we don't have iron. So I need... Uh, more clay. That's what I got the water for. The extra rain barrels there. So get me some more clay. So cobblestone to gravel. Oop. Gravel to sand. And then sand to dust. Boop, 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 boop. All right, now I have clay. Pop said clay. And what else do I need? I need to make a bucket. Boink. Which gives me an unfired clay bucket. Well, that's iguana, isn't it? That's not... Uh, I figured that would be X Nilo. Because I've kind of noticed that X Nilo is like everything. The hammer's X Nilo. The crucible's X Nilo. Uh, the, 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 the sieve is X Nilo. Everything's X Nilo. So I'm thinking that X Nilo was either specifically designed for or definitely designed with uh, Skyblock in mind. Or Skyblock-like things. Uh, I, from the looks of it, I'm going to get a thousand millibuckets of fluid, of fluid lava from this crucible is just going to take for fucking ever because well i'm melting cobblestone with a torch you know i could have used the furnace because apparently the furnace produces enough heat that if you sit a uh uh crucible on top of it it will do heat yeah uh but the other way that i discovered Eight. It, to, um, yeah, produce fire for the crucible there. I could get iron. I can get iron. I'd have to, uh, get, uh, gravel and sift gravel, but then I would be able to get, uh, crushed, or no, broken. Broken iron ore. And then use the broken iron ore to 
create uh, iron ingots, which could be used to create flint and steel, which we already know I can create flint. So, yeah, I could definitely have done it yesterday, and I just didn't think about it. Sometimes it takes me a little while to think about it, to figure things out. Or, should I say, sometimes it takes me a little while not thinking about things to figure that out. Let's put away the cobblestones for now. Let's get a whole shit ton of wood. Because let's try to make a spawning tower. I have no idea if this is going to work. Look center to me. Make a whole bunch of oak planks. Now the idea... Again, I have no idea if this is going to work. Build a pillar up really, really high. I'm thinking 22 blocks. No, I'm thinking higher than 22 blocks. Um, let's do 40. That's a lot of blocks. It means I'm going to die when I hit the ground. <laughs> Just just occurred to me right now that if I do this, I'm not getting back down without, you know, or while surviving. So let's put away our fired clay bucket and everything else for right now. Bloop. And I guess go commit suicide. <sighs> as not nice as that sounds. Oops. Maybe in the long run, I'll put uh, a ladder up to the top there and a uh, 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 trap door. I wasn't counting. Shit. Um, let's say seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I think twenty-two is as high as you have to be, but I'm not sure about that. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And then we'll move this out, let's say, two blocks. Hopefully this will be enough space for mobs to spawn. I guess if I was thinking, I would have used my clay bucket to put a little bit of water down there. Because, yeah, there's no way I'm surviving this fall. Whee! Splat. Thought so. Whoa! Okay. That's a hell of a place to spawn. I should have spawned over here. But I don't know why I didn't. You know what I also didn't do? I didn't hit F7 to see if uh, that's proper. It should be fine. I can't see why it wouldn't be. I have no idea if that's going to work. I really have no idea. I'm used to building spawn... Uh, yeah, spawn traps that involve... Uh, um, pushing. That's just hoping that they fall off. That's hoping that they spawn. They might not actually spawn up there. Let's grab our stuff real quick. I don't need my hammer right now. I do, however, want my clay bucket because hopefully I can get lava. Let's see, are you done yet? No, but you are getting close. I see a little bit of lava in there. It's not rising or anything. Hmm. Also, nothing's on fire so far. This is always good. Hundred hundred milli buckets left. What time is it? It's nightfall. That might be too far away for mobs to spawn. I don't know. I guess right now I'm just kind of sitting here waiting. Hmm. Waiting for fifty more milli buckets. And I'm waiting for night to fall so I can see if uh, my mob spawner works. I'm a wee bit concerned about this. I don't know if this will work. Can I improvise if it doesn't? 
I don't know. Boop. Yay, I have a bucket of lava. And I don't need the rest, so... Oop. Let's go get my pickaxe so I can pop it. Because I might need that later. The, the only thing I want to... I, or the only reason I'm popping it right now is because I don't want to find out that the crucible will set things on fire around it. Boop. You know, I just want to make sure that I'm not going to, you know, die horribly due to fire. All right, so here's the idea. I'm going to pop out this fence right here. Pop out that right there. Lose those. I'm going to move out a little bit. Uh, there we go. I don't have to move out much. I can make a step up like I did here. Boop. Uh, how did I do that? How did I do that? I did it, I think. Whoa. <sighs> That was scary as all get out. I know this is a tighter uh, walkway than I made before, but it should work. Boop. All right, and then put a ladder there. Or not a ladder, a fence. Put a fence there, a fence there. Boop, 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 boop. All right, and nothing should be able to spawn up here. And then it's just a little walkway. Again, I have no idea if things are going to spawn up there. I might have to fiddle with it. But while I'm thinking about it, fan. Where, 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 where is it? There is a fan. There you are. From open blocks. What do you need to make open blocks? A shit ton of iron. All right, so it is theoretically possible for me to do that. So I can make a spawner, in theory. Again, that might be just too far away for them to spawn. I was hoping it didn't work that way, but it apparently does. Uh, yeah, out a bit. What the shit? Did so did something just spawn down there? And like, die? Yes, things are spawning. What the hell? Huh. I didn't know things spawned from those uh, nodes. Hmm. That may be a thing in the future. How far out do I want to make this? I'm not sure. A couple blocks out. Two or three blocks out, at least. What I'm going to do is make another platform similar to, you know, these platforms. And in the center, I'm going to spread out some cobblestone with the hopes that I can make a cobblestone farm and not burn the place to the ground. It's the idea anyways. I don't know if it's going to work. Probably not because I have no idea how to make a cobblestone farm. I really have no clue, honestly. I'm trying to remember, and I think I remember. Uh, that's going to be enough. So we'll start here. Ooh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have 16. If I do this, boop, that gives me 30. All right. Let's move out to, I think that's far enough away so things don't burn. So the lava, or the cobblestone is going to form here. And that means that the lava needs to be f four blocks away. 
I think. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then I think the water can be quite literally right beside all of this. So the water can be sitting there, but the lava has to be sitting way over here, I think. I think that's how it works. That way uh, the lava flows to four here, and then the water flows to here. And then once the water hit, or yeah, that should work in theory. I have no idea if it will. I am out of cobble. Shit. That means I have to shi shift, <laughs> sift a bunch of dirt. Uh, this might have to be a minute or two. Alrighty, now I have 31 cobblestone again, so let's make a bunch, let's start there, of cobblestone slabs. Finish off the placement here. And then it occurred to me that I kind of have to extend out here a little bit to stop the water and the lava to from just falling off in general. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Lava goes there. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, I should have seen that. Uh, I'm an idiot. You know what? Let's make two. I need two anyways. Assuming I'm smart enough to uh, get it right the second time around. I should have seen that. I should have seen that. Nothing's on fire yet. This is good. I am disappointed in myself for doing that. Why didn't I see that? Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. <sighs> Boop. All right, let's do this again. Need more cobblestone slabs. I'm a little disappointed in myself on that one. I mean, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Why it didn't dawn on me that I'm half a slab down, so putting half slabs in ain't going to work. All right, now the lava should sit there and only flow this direction. And it stops here, which is exactly what I want. I need a bucket for water, which I have plenty of now at least. And in theory, apparently nothing will happen. But I do wrong. It's a cobblestone generator. How fucking hard could it be? Where's my pickaxe? There's my pickaxe. Okay, so it decided to make the cobblestone over there. And then over here. That's going to turn into obsidian here, isn't it? Hmm. This isn't going to work, is it? What am I doing wrong? I mean, how complicated is a fucking cobblestone generator? And it just stops right there. I don't understand. Uh, 
and it just moves right to hell over. Does the lava have to be above? I mean, I guess that would work. Put the lava, like, up here a couple blocks so that it flows down and the water flows over and then where they touch. And that way I don't risk turning the lava into obsidian because I really can't use obsidian at the moment. Also, I'm out of clay, so I can't make any more clay buckets. This is going to be a slight learning experience, isn't it? It occurs to me, I only have two buckets of water left. We can fix that! Can't we? That I can actually do! I can do something about that. Oh, I have plenty of wood on me. So if, say... Hmm, where do I want to put this? Eh, let's shove it up here for right now. There. There. No, there. Boop. Water. No. Water. Boop. There we go. Now we have... An infinite water source. <laughs> don't right-click on the fences. They apparently don't do anything. Good, I could put water in the buckets. Or in the barrels. Good, 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 good. Putting this all down half a block is kind of screwing me, isn't it? It was all for naught, wasn't it? Because we figured out in the last episode that things don't spawn. That they can't spawn... Um, on half slabs. Even upside down half slabs. No idea why. I thought people actually did testing to figure out that they could spawn on upside down half slabs. I don't get it. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so time to rethink this cobblestone generator. And waste some more charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not exactly hard to get charcoal, so, I mean, it's not a big bad waste or anything like that. It'll work. And eventually I'll get an iron bucket and I'll be able to move around lava freely. But at least I know how to you know, make lava, a buttload of lava. Need a bucket of water. Boop. And get my bucket of lava back. All right, so here's the idea. I'm not sure what the idea is. All right, I'm going to put the water here. And it will flow this way. And I'll pop this up. Yeah, in theory that should work. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this all out. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. How did I get smooth stone? Like, seriously, how am I getting smooth stone? <laughs> the shit. I mean, it's working, but how am I... Um... I don't understand. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm very lost. Well, shit. Alrighty then. Well, this seems to be working. Ever so slowly. I'm losing some of the cobblestone to the lava, but I mean, it's way, way, way the hell faster than sifting all of that uh, dirt. And if I ever get a magnet, how do I make magnets? Woo, 16. Oh, they're all flying over this way. Uh, magnet, 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 magnet. All right, so I like these things. Item magnets, Ew, require a lot of stuff. Iron redstone, iron and lapis, I can get those. Gold and ender pearls. Okay. The magnet shouldn't be that far away. All right. Well, hey, now we have a bunch of cobblestone. Or at least we can get a bunch of cobblestone. That's a thing. <sighs> and for the record, my mob spawner doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if it needs to be lower or what. I always have problems getting mobs to spawn far away. Wait till night, call night falls. Ooh, I should make a whole shit ton of ladders. Climb my butt up there, see if I can get it so that, like, uh... Boop. How do I make a ladder? It's like this, right? Yes. Yeah, so make a whole bunch of ladders. Climb my butt up there. And then basically sit underneath the uh, platform. Let mobs spawn and fall off. And they die. I have to worry about skeletons. That's a biggie. But hopefully it's high enough that even armored skeletons die quickly, easily. Ooh, that's a hell of a view. Hang on. F1. Yeah, okay. I didn't grab a screenshot because my finger's still holding shift, but I can always rip that picture out of the uh, video. Man, that cobblestone generator looks derpy. <laughs> it works, though. Um... Nothing's catching on fire. This is always good. Hmm. I'm going to find out that a, a skeleton's going to fall off and shoot me on the way down. I'm going to fall off and die. Because that's how it works. What I'm really worried about is creepers. Hopefully, if the creepers spawn, they don't, uh, yeah, the, no creeper should have armor. So if any creeper falls off, it should die pretty much instantly. Assuming anything spawns. All right, so I gave up waiting. Apparently, absolutely nothing wants to spawn up there. So I'm going to put up a carpenter's hatch. Because if I remember correctly, you can actually climb up a carpenter's hatch. Unlike a regular trap door, you can't climb... You can't climb a trap door, but you can climb a carpenter's hatch. Yes. 
All right, so I'm up here, F7. So everything's a spawnable block except for the carpenter's hatch. Why did nothing spawn? Is it too small? Is is that a thing? Is is there a size limit? Like it has to be a certain size or it ain't going to work? Well, I guess I can try that. I'll uh, widen it out a little bit and see what happens. So I actually don't know the spawning requirements in Minecraft. Boing. Yeah, I don't know if mobs need a specific amount of space, like a wide enough space to spawn. And if they do need a wide enough space to spawn, I might have to uh, increase the size of my landing platform down there, or everything's just going to fall off the edge. But uh, this, I mean, it will tell me at least. All right, that should be more than enough space for mobs to spawn. They can't spawn on that block, but okay, whatever. Whee! So hopefully that will work. And again, I have no idea how that's supposed to work, like get the mobs off of there. But hey, I don't know. I'm winging it at the moment. They might, they might fall off. They might get shoved off. I don't know. Uh, but I guess I have to wait another half day to uh, find out. So I'm going to go uh, make some cobblestone. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see a little thingy down there that will let me know for absolutely sure if anything actually works. And if anything actually can spawn anywhere on my little island here. The Blood Moon is always nasty when it comes to stuff like that. All right, I've got nothing. I set the mini-map to show mobs, so if something spawns, I should be able to see it on the mini-map. And nothing is spawning, nothing at all. When I'm far away, when I get closer, when I'm really close, nothing spawns. Nothing at all. And I'm very confused as to why. This should work. I mean, it's just spawning hostile mobs. It's something that we've been doing for years now. But nothing spawns. And I checked. Still in normal. No idea why this is not working. Heh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit of testing and a little bit of potentially research, even though I'm not exactly sure how to research that kind of thing. And I guess... Boop. I will end the episode here. And I'll say to you guys, as always, hmm, keep playing the game and have fun.